Now let's move on and look at some tape diagrams. So let me write this down. This is what we call a tape diagram. And now instead of thinking about weight, we want to think about distance. Since a tape diagram is essentially modeling a tape measure, something that can measure the distance of something. And so we want for this one, the top tape diagram, this H and this 26 here, this could be length one. We don't know what the length is, but we know that it has to equal the length below it because you can see they're stacked up next to each other. And just visually speaking, the length of this one, notice they start at the same point, is equal to the length of the other one. They end at the same point. So we can say that this is length 2, and in our case, we know it's 42. But for these, what we want to rely on is that the length of the first one is equal to the length of the second one. So let's try and come up with an equation. And again, you can use whatever units you want. This could be in meters, it could be in inches or feet, or it could be in something like kilometers. It's, it's your choice, but this is length 42, and this is length H and 26 combined together. And whenever you're combining like this, we're just essentially adding them. So we can say that the length of 1, which is H and 26, or H plus 26, is equal to the length of the other one, which is 42. And we want to solve this equation. So we want to get h by itself, which means we have to get rid of this plus 26. And so we can cancel addition with subtraction. We will subtract 26 on each side. So then 42 minus 26. So if we take away 6, that brings us to 36. And then take away 20 brings us to 16. And you can check this, 16 plus 26, the 6s make a 2, the 1 carries over, 2 plus 1 plus that 1 that carried over would give us back 42. So we think H is 16, and if we put it in here in our tape diagram, this 16, then is it true that 16 and 26 combined, would that be a length of 42? And since we already added those together to check, it did make sense, 16 plus 26 is 42. So this is the right answer. We checked it, and so we can feel confident about it. And so h is 16. And let's do one more of these. So again, we have this tape diagram, and the length of the top one, which is all four of these s's combined together, would equal the length of the bottom one. So let's rewrite the length of the top one, since it's just these s's combined together, which in other words means we're going to be adding all four of these S's together. And this would have to equal the length of the bottom one, which is 20. And again, whatever units you want to use here for length. And we have this repeated addition. We have four S's added together. So that's the same thing as four times S, since multiplying by four just means add S four times. So this is going to equal to 20. And to get s by itself, we want to use division since s is multiplied by 4. And we cancel multiplication by dividing. We do the opposite. And we know that 4 divided by 4 is 1. So these essentially cancel each other. And so we get that 1s, or s, is equal to 20 divided by 4, which is 5. And again, we can check this. So let's put in 5 for each of these. And basically, each of these little sections that were s but are now 5 should add up to 20. So 5 plus 5 plus 5 plus 5. Well, 5 plus 5 is 10, plus 5 more is 15, and 5 more than that is 20. So we checked it, and it worked, which means we can feel confident that s, in this case, does equal 5.